Welcome to another episode of 3P Sports. Today we'll be talking about the 2012 Olympics, which came to a close yesterday. All right, guys, what do you what did you guys think about this year? It was a, it was a lot of fun. I had a lot of fun watching the games this year. You know, and what, not only just watching like the main stream sports, but even the lower ones, like you know, track and field, was never a big fan of. But watching uh -huh. that was a lot of fun. Watching. You know, swimming, water polo, handball. Uh, yes. I mean, this was just a fun Olympics to watch. Stuff. I had a lot of fun supporting the U.S., coming out on top of the most uh, oh, medals, yeah. you know, in this Olympics. And, I, like I said, just a lot of fun watching this. Oh, yeah. What about you, bro? Yeah, it, it was fun. It was fun watching the USA dominate. It was fun watching totally. uh, sports that I don't even really get to watch, you know. Uh, there was, you know, water polo. I never see that being broadcast. No. And, uh... It was cool, you know, and then more BMX. You know, last time I watched BMX is X Games, yeah, which you know is you know once a year or mm. so. It, it was nice to see some some you know random sports. That's the yeah. Olympics I think of it, other than you know track and all the basics. But yeah, what? so some of those are really cool. Yeah, sports you really don't think about. Yeah, yeah, it's nice. Yeah, I, I really like that about this Olympics too. Uh, I felt. Um, in comparison to the 2008 Olympics, where when we when the U.S. had Michael Phelps just dominating eight golds, I think that was the center of attention. I think it, this year it was a lot more spread out to more of the, more of the other sports. We were seeing the random sports like BMX and yeah. rowing and water polo, yeah, was a lot of the shooting, everything. Everything was getting a good amount of attention. That people were uh, like spreading out their viewing of it and just kind of seeing everything it had to offer. It, but yeah, as you guys both said, the U.S. the U.S. just it was awesome getting to support support the country and watching them dominate. 104 overall medals, 46 gold. I mean, that's that's great. Yeah. Talk about yeah. dominance. Yeah, that is really. I mean, the, the closest person is China with 88. You know, yeah. It's almost a 30 medal. Oh, yeah. yeah. Almost a 30 medal event. Yeah. So. Pretty crazy. big difference. All right, so uh, let's get to uh, what stood out to you guys and what disappointed you guys, starting with the disappointments of this uh, year's Olympics. What disappointed me most <clears throat> was just like, you know, the teams that were. You know, hyped up to win, but didn't perform as well as they should have. Like, you know, the U.S. water polo, the men's, yeah. uh, they, they got eliminated quick yeah. quarterfinals. Yeah. Same thing with the men's volleyball quarterfinals. Yeah. Um, the women's volleyball, getting to the gold, their number one team in the uh -huh. world, but then just getting, like, dominated the first set, but then getting swept three sets in a row to, yeah. to lose it. That was bad. And also, you know, with the U.S. track, you know, falling short of Jamaica, of course, that also that yeah. hurts. But other than that, I mean, I can't really be disappointed with these games. You know, these games were a lot of fun oh, to watch. I mean, it was, it was a good competition watching everybody uh, display their thing. You know, with, you know, the U.S. basketball did their thing. Both oh, yeah. men and women's side. U.S. women's soccer with my Boo Hope Solo and Alex, Alex Morgan. Morgan. <laughs> and uh, the U.S. gymnastics with Flying oh, yeah. Squirrel, Gavin Douglas. I mean, that was, it was just great to watch. And I, and oh, I, had, yeah. and I had fun. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. What about you, Robert? Uh, I think it was very, it was very good. Other than like disappointments, I don't really, you know, so some of them. But what what stands out to me is the people who, who were projected to not do that good, and they overcame that. They overcame, kind of surprised, yeah. The they surprised people, and, and that that was what was cool. To, you know, watch was was some of those people who were just like, oh yeah, we don't expect them to finish like in the long distance run too. The 800 meters, uh, the, even the 5,000 meters, like the long distance, you know. Some of those people who have fallen before, they're like, oh, will they, will they overcome that fall from, you know, 2008? Yeah. And it, it, that kind of stuff, it was, you know, it was pretty cool. And, and the hurdles, too. Yeah. Uh -huh. The hurdles when people have fallen before, they, they get their second chance. Yeah. And they're like, oh, we don't know how she's going to react, you know, come back and all that. It was pretty cool. Oh, yeah. No, I definitely agree with both of you there that... Um, the, uh, the disappointments were definitely the people that are and the teams that were hyped up and that really uh, going into them, see, going into the game, seemed like they were the best. They were the team to beat, and then they yeah. just kind of didn't come out. They were overhyped, I guess. But um, like uh, Michaela Maroney, love you, but she getting the silver and she was uh, everyone thought she was gonna get the gold. People were saying she's the best in the world, and the girl from Romania took her out. She couldn't couldn't land right. But um, the standouts, uh, yeah, I mean, USA Basketball getting that gold, that's awesome. Back-to-back -back years. Um, should be should be three, but a disastrous year in Athens back in 04. Yeah, Not talking yeah. about that. <laughs> but, um, yeah, USA soccer, well, women's soccer. Women's I soccer. Mean, that, going back to the disappointments, the men's soccer not even qualifying. Yeah. But um, 
Uh, also, that uh, the runner from South Africa, the guy who's a double amputee yeah. running on the artificial oh, legs, yeah. he, uh, he didn't he didn't uh, get place or anything, but he qualified for uh, the finals in the yeah, 400, meet, cool. 400 meter relay, and that was really cool. Yeah, there was a lot of controversy over that. Yeah, you know, whether or not the uh, the the. The yeah, legs. Yeah, the legs were, were <laughs> gave naturally. Him an advantage. They, yeah, if they gave him an advantage. Michael Michael Johnson actually said it was unfair. Yeah. Uh, that fair. he could have a bounce off of that quicker than a regular leg and um it actually finding out that studies that it does actually bounce like off the ground like a normal ankle would or a normal yeah. foot. So they, they actually let him go through after he filed a lawsuit, you know, trying yeah. to get in and he did. I mean, it, it sucks that he didn't finish in, in you know, play. In the spot but, that he should have. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it is what it is. Yeah. yeah. But uh, overall, we had fun watching these Olympics, guys. Let us know your opinions in the comments section below. Also on our Facebook and Twitter, facebook.com slash 3 Sports and yeah. at official 3 ps that's right. Once again, for 3 Pete Sports, I'm Aldo. Dustin. Rob. Be sure to click the football to subscribe. This helmet here to watch our last video. And this helmet here to watch the video for that. And uh, thank you guys. Have a good one. See ya. See ya.